All right, guys, you know the drill. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Say covenant of peace. Now say Casimir. Where were those shipping containers? The corner of Rainbow and Casimir. Casimir means proclamation of peace and to destroy the enemy's prestige in battle as well. Now, okay, guys, here's the thing. I've got a little video right here for you guys. Right here, click messages about the gathering. I did this yesterday. Now, listen up, guys. Please listen. A lot of people are starting to call the venue, the Richland Pines. Do not do that anymore. Okay? That's as clear as I can be. You're calling the owner of the venue, leaving messages, asking questions about what you can do at the gathering that we are sponsoring, and it's not cool. It's overstepping boundaries. You know, you're calling the owner of the venue to ask, hey, can we do this? Can we do this? You should be asking on the Facebook group I provided you with or here in the comment section. Okay, so now I'm going to, I did a video yesterday and I actually did the video before the owner of the venue and I had a talk and she said, all these people are calling me from, you know, different states asking, can we pitch tents? Can we do this? Can we do that? Don't do that. That is overstepping boundaries. It's just like, you know, we've made it very clear. We've given you the map. We've shown you where it is. You don't call the owner of the venue and ask him what hotel you should get. What? Just look at the exit that it's at. It's on exit 810 off, off Interstate 10 and make your plans accordingly. You know, get on the computer and say, oh, it's at exit 810 is where we get off I-10. Find the closest hotel that you want to be at. Do not call the owner of the place asking them what you should do. Okay, now, now that I've said that, okay, now, let's have fun, but let's be respectful of others. When I see, when I see people that don't show the proper respect for other people, is that, that gets under my skin. That bothers me. Anyway, okay, so there's your little admonishment. For those of y'all that have done it and those of y'all that might do it, do not do it anymore. Do not call that number. Do not call Richland Pines. That is not the number you call. You simply go look at the videos that we posted. You go to the you go to the Facebook group that I provided uh, a link for that you can go in there and get all the information trying to ride share and stuff. The Richland Pines uh, owner has no idea about anything that y'all are asking. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, I was, I was a little bit shocked when she told me that this was happening. I was like, okay, I'll take care of it. I'm taking care of it. Okay. Now, now that we got that out of the way, okay. now I'm going to show you a video of Richland Pines. Um, I want to tell you this also. Um, you may pitch a tent if you want to. It's a beautiful area. You're going to see it right now. I'm going to show you a video. However, here's the number one rule. Just like when I did backpacking and mountaineering, you leave no trace whatsoever. You don't build campfires uh, by your tents, nothing like that. Absolutely not. You may pitch a tent, but there is a no trace rule. So if you pitch a tent, by the time you're ready to pack up, no one even knew you were there because you left no trace. That's the way I used to do it in Colorado backpacking, and that's the way everybody should do it, especially here, because this is someone's very beautiful place that they've allowed us to use, and you will show them the utmost respect, or you will be asked to leave. Okay, I'm just being blunt. Okay, there you go. And that, you know, by the way, that's how it should be for any Christian anyway. If you don't think of the other people, then number one rule in Christianity is do, as, do unto others as you would have them do unto you uh, and love your neighbor as yourself, thus fulfilling the law and the prophets. So if I see just a blatant disregard for that, I'm going to look at you and go, wait a minute, you don't even have the basic philosophy of Christianity down. How is that possible that you're here at this event then? You know what I'm saying? Okay, no. I just want everyone to total respect for the place that we've been allowed to get to use in conjunction with the ark. 
You are parking your vehicles at Richland Pines. You are not calling them anymore. You're not asking uh, the owner questions anymore. You will find your own hotels if you need to do that. You do not call them and ask them where you should stay. Okay, no more of that. Okay, good. Now we're clear. Um, all right, because I'm going to tell her, I'm going to say, if anyone calls, please take their name down so I know who it is. Yeah, okay. Now, here we go. Y'all ready? Let's do this. All right. All right. This is a video I took from the other day, and you are going to be able to see Richland Pines. And then you're also going to get to see the drive from Richland Pines to the Ark. Here we go. Y'all ready? Let me uh, get this volume going correctly. Here we go. Okay, so I'm here with the Corey Meister, and we're, we're at the, the place where everyone's going to park. I'm going to point back there. See that white fence area over there? That's the road you'll be coming in on. No one's going to go in that building. That's a chapel. Um, but this is this is the Richland Pines place. I just want y'all to get a little feel for what it is. We have all this open area over here. I'm going to turn around this way. We have uh, some covered barbecue pit stuff over there. Areas to hang out. There's a there's that white building right there. Um, that's kind of reserved uh, for some guests I have. and um, But it doesn't mean people can't hang out on the deck. Um, then we have... We're, I'm just going to walk down the path. What's really interesting is you see the, the white head symbol right there where my hand is. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there's a, there's a big hat, which is interesting. The hat symbol, it's called the hupa in, in Judaism. The hupa is where, you know, the wedding occurs under the hupa. Um, it's interesting that there's a hupa here, and that's what's on my house, is three hat symbols. Um, so check this out. If you want, and you bring your fishing poles and you treat it with respect, you may come and fish right here. Super cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, he said it's stocked with bass and catfish. Um, he said you're welcome to fish and do what you want. As long as you treat this place with respect, no trash. Anyone that I see throwing trash, I will ask you to leave. Uh, I just don't believe in doing that to other people's stuff. So anyway, we'll put some trash cans around. Uh, if you have any questions, take a plastic baggie. Put it in your coat pocket or your pants pocket. Whatever trash you have, throw it in. Carry it around until you find a trash can. This place is just too pretty uh, to, to get dirty. Anyway, I don't want to leave a print. I used to do backpacking and mountaineering. And when you go in, you leave no, no, no trace. Just you were there, but no one knows you were there. All right. Anyway, there it is. This is, this is the area where you can park your... Your camper's over there where that white fence is. That is a huge parking lot. If you have a camper, you have an RV, you know, and if uh, you meet people that are here and they're on a low budget, they need a little help, help them out and maybe give them a spot to sleep. Um, I'm trusting the Lord that we're going to have perfect weather. You could honestly lay in a, you could honestly lay your, you know, your, uh, mat out here on the grass and crash out if you want it doesn't matter uh the owner of the property has been very very nice and very very accommodating he just told me as long as we treat it with respect you guys can just enjoy it that's what he said so that's what i want y'all to do anyway isn't this amazing okay now this is not the ark everyone's like oh the ark's so nice the ark's a little different um, the Ark is down the street from here. This is where you'll be parking your vehicles. And this is where you'll be catching the shuttle to go to the Ark. Um, I'm going to go to the Ark here in just a minute. And we're going we're gonna to do a little video from this place uh, down to the Ark. Because I want you guys to see there is a dog situation. I do not want you guys to get caught in a, you know, uh, a country dog situation especially if you have your own pets you don't want to have your pet and walk by a pit bull that's used to defending property 
That's just not a smart thing. All right, here it is in this beautiful get ready, guys. This is going to be a one awesome get together. Here's the other thing. I want to bring this up. This has come up. Some people in the venues like Facebook and other things that are associated with the ministry that the Lord gave me. If you come here and you propose to teach, I will ask you to leave personally. I, I mean, I don't mind people fellowshipping and having a great time. But when I see people that assume the role of a teacher themselves and they think they're supposed to teach others, I will ask you immediately to leave. That's not what you're here for. I see people and they that is trying to glorify themselves and you're not supposed to do that. The truth is when you do what I do, you don't even really want to be doing it. And the truth of the matter is, this was not my choice, is what the Lord appointed me to do. Okay, so now that we're clear about that, okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to finish this vid, and we're going to get a vid going to the ark from, this is called Richland Pines. This is where you will park your vehicles. Here's the other thing. If you have a dog or you have a group of people, you can drive from here to the ark, and you can drop people off at the front gate. And then you can come back and park your vehicle here and we'll shuttle you back. So you don't have to walk past the doggies and all that. You technically could walk from here if you wanted to, but I just highly suggest you either get dropped off or take the shuttle just so no one has a weird encounter with, you know, country dogs. All right. Okay, guys, so, yep. <laughs> So here is Richland Pines. This is where we I was just in with Corey. It says 1162. There. Okay, guys. So here, I'm just jumping back in on this video now. So listen, I'm going to say it again. Do not, and I repeat, do not look up Richland Pines and start calling the owner and asking them questions. That is just not the thing to do. We have we have rented Richland Pines for our, you know, for our get together as a place for y'all to park, a place for you guys to put campers. You can pitch a tent with 100% respect. No littering. You may not make any fires out on the ground. There are some fire pits. You may make fires in the fire pits and barbecue accordingly, but you may not just turn it into, you know, <laughs> anything other than what it is, okay? Total respect. And again, I, I reserve the right that anybody that disrespects a number one fundamental rule, I will ask you to leave. Okay, we're supposed to always respect other people's stuff. Always. Okay, and these people have been kind enough to let us have this for our, for our event. Okay, now, right here what you're looking at, you're going to get to see. Now, this is the outside of Richland Pines. This is where you're going to park your vehicles and you can catch the shuttle down to the end of the road. Again, there are dogs on the way. So if you have a pet dog, you don't want to just walk your dog down there because there's some, there's some big dogs and these are country dogs and they're used to being out and roaming free and dealing with other animals in a very not kind way. So you don't want your little puppy to be a uh, fall victim to one of these big dogs and, and you yourself as well. Okay, so watch the rest of this, and then I'll comment at the end of the video. Okay, guys, here we go. There's, there's a sign, and here's the entrance to it. So now let me show you the way this is going to work. Y'all are going to pull in there, and you're going to park your vehicles. Feel free to hang out as long as you want. Then there'll be a, there'll be a sign-in sheet right here to go in. You'll be signing in. Then if you want to go down to the ark, now watch, here we go. Now, this is the way to the ark. And let me show you the way to the ark. So you go down the street and just, here you go. So you're going to go this way to the end of the road. Now, be careful if you're driving this little bridge right here. If you're driving and dropping people off right here, there's a little bridge right here that can be a little bit tricky actually because it takes a little sharp turn and it's loose dirt so be uh, be advised this is very very loose dirt right here and it's a little bit of a drop off okay so now once you go past that little bridge once you go down this this area this is where i jokingly refer to as the meth lab 
because over here on the right, if you are walking your dog down here, more than likely we will encounter dogs even as we drive right here. And the boat is the boat that you're gonna see here is a permanent fixture. There's usually always a vehicle or two parked out here. But this is where you might run into dog issues right here. And so let me just kind of scan over for you. So there's where you do not go in there. Okay? If you were to walk. So anyway, so then you go down to the end of the street right here. We'll just take the drive. So here we go. corner here and then straight down to the end of the road here so right down there at the end of the road that's where the ark is where that white box is that's a shipping container and I'll show you in just a sec all right I don't want to shoot off the road do not turn off the road do not turn off into this grass over here or over here your car will get stuck I repeat, I'm going to slow down. Do not, do not back your car up in there. You'll never get it out. That is swamp. On both sides, do not, do not back your car up or try and make a U-turn and go in this grass. You will be stuck. And we are not a tow truck service. So again, let me show you. So then you're going to hit the end of the pavement right here. This becomes just a dirt road. Now we're basically in another county. And you're gonna go to the end of this road. And my arm is starting to get sore. <laughs> and y'all are just gonna take a little bit of a bumpy ride with me. Woohoo! Guys, I'm so excited, I'm freaking out. This is gonna happen. There's so much supernatural stuff going on. It's mind boggling. I mean, what are the odds we would have a wedding, a wedding venue associated with, you know, the getting together with the bride container, the one that represents the bride of Christ and the judgment seat. I just find that just fascinating. So anyway, so here we go now. Everybody be very respectful of the property here. This guy's a very nice guy. He helps a lot with the art. He uses his heavy machinery to help us. So you will go past the heavy machinery. If you're gonna drop people off, here's the way you'll drop them off. You will pull right up to here and you will unload them. And then you will go this way and then we'll have you back up and go back from where you came from. These red gates right here, this is where you enter the ark right here. So you'll go through these red gates. That's kind of interesting too, when you think about it. Um, you'll go through these red gates and you'll go right here. And uh, you'll already know where you're at once you go through those red gates. And right when you get to here, everyone's gonna be walking so I don't have to worry about the car thing. You gotta go over this little bridge right here, it's a culvert. And where this red shipping container is, it says Klein. This is where your final entrance into the ark will be right here. So then you'll come in here and you'll see the two shipping containers that were in Grand Junction. And this is the, this is the ark proper. This is where we're going. So let's see. Okay, here's absolutely insane. There is the building that we were trying to get ready. And I had no idea that when we were building it, the Lord literally arranged it. It looks literally like the ark, the boat, you know, like Noah's ark. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Look at this thing. It literally looks like the ark at the dock, ready to launch. <laughs> That's so crazy. I mean, I don't even know what to do with that. And Corey's here with me as a witness. Corey, that just... It totally it, happened supernaturally. It organically yeah. happened mm -hmm. because of a leveling situation with the dock and the ledgers on the building. The building not being leveled, that, 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 that. Anyway, and this is what the Lord just spoke to me and said, do this. And then I said, okay, let's do that. And then it changed a little more because we're going to have stairs coming down from 
right there. But then the Lord said, no, that's where you put your handicap ramp. So <laughs> it literally looks like the ark ready to launch. Yep. All right. <laughs> Freak crazy. out. Yeah. It's so crazy. So anyway, we're all very excited. We're looking forward to having you guys as guests. Uh, again, you know, I've already laid down the ground rules. They're very simple. Um, you're coming to join us for a night under the stars. No one's coming here to teach. The Lord's appointed me as a teacher, nobody else. Mm -hmm. If someone's doing that, you'll be asked to leave. Because I've noticed that happens at gatherings. People try and, hey, I want to tell you all about this or that. I Just please don't do it. Um, let's see, what else? No weapons of any kind are allowed. And you will be checked. Everyone, Everything will be checked. There will be armed police here. So please, 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 please uh, use your brain. I don't need anyone to protect me. I've got the Lord. So well, I'll just leave it to him. All right, guys. Peace and grace, and here's where it's all going to go down, or go up, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, and there the containers are. How cool is this? So, if I wasn't to videotape just what goes on out here, I would be remiss in my duties. This is what goes on in the effort put into this at whatever hour of the night it is. But uh, everybody's out here diligently working. Tyler and Drew have just hit a home run for everybody. I mean, beyond grateful. But yeah, this is what the guys do at night. <laughs> oh, glory to God. All right, super quick check in. Let me do this. Here we go. All right, guys. Okay, so look, I'm just going to post this. Now, here's the thing. There is a Facebook group that we... I put a link in the last video for anyone that needs to try and find a ride, uh, connect with other people. Um, I have in this video told you what the what the plan is. If you want, uh, you can pitch a tent, but it has to be no trace camping, no trace camping. Okay. I talked to the owner. Uh, she was like, "Well, I'm getting inundated with phone calls from people from." all over the nation. That is overstepping boundaries. Please don't make one more phone call to her, please. Okay, I'm gonna ask her. Please take the names of anyone that calls you because I wanna know. Uh, all right, now, we're getting ready. It's all, go it's all going to happen. We are diligently, diligently putting together all this stuff. We have an audio video venue. I'm gonna plug my computer in. I'm gonna put a big screen up. Uh, we're going to sit there and put uh, what the Lord showed me up on a giant screen. I'm going to just go straight from my computer into that giant screen. And we're going to just kind of do the live thing like I do when I'm doing videos that go on YouTube. I'm just going to share with you what the Lord shared with me. Again, there's several people that go in different venues, whether or not it's Facebook or other groups, that try and teach. If you, if you show up here and you presume to teach, I will ask you to leave, okay? Uh, it's just, it causes confusion. I've seen it before, and it's just, it's just not something that I'll put up with. I won't tolerate it. It's like someone walking into physics class and telling the prof, hey, scoot over, uh, I'll take it from here. You just don't do it. And, and it's very bad manners. Okay, so anyway, now that I've said that, I love you guys in Christ. We're getting ready. It's going to be a, an absolute mind-boggling get-together. So here we go. All right.